Since my update to you last month, our national COVID-19 immunization program has made significant progress. Our average daily vaccination rate for June was almost 170,000, surpassing our target of 150,000. We are vaccinating people at a higher rate daily per capita than the world average. We are now consistently vaccinating 250,000 a day and will target a monthly average of 300,000 a day in July. At the end of May, only 5.9% of our population had received at least one dose. That number is now 18%. That's a 200% increase in June alone. Vaccinating the most vulnerable members of our society has been a priority for us. So far, more than 60% of our senior citizens that have registered have received at least one dose. We hope to complete vaccinating our elderly this month. We are also making headway with people with disabilities. We have opened dedicated PPVs for the disabled, including drive-through PPVs, and one specially designed for the visually impaired. We have also updated clinical guidelines for vaccinating pregnant ladies and lactating mothers, many of whom have started getting their appointments. The next three months will be the busiest and most crucial period of our immunization program. As I mentioned before, this is when a large part of our vaccine supply will be arriving. In July alone, we are expected to receive more than 12 million doses. To put that into context, to date, we have cumulatively administered around 8 million doses since February. So this is going to be an extremely busy month for us as we ramp up capacity across the country. I have voiced out our concerns about vaccine inequity globally. This is a view shared by many developing nations and the World Health Organization. We are thankful that some countries have started to address this injustice by kindly offering contributions. We have received 1 million doses of AstraZeneca from Japan and will soon be receiving contributions from the United States and China. On behalf of the Malaysian people, terima kasih. We are also working hard to secure the delivery of the CanSino vaccine in July. Not only is this vaccine safe and effective, it is a single-dose vaccine. The CanSino vaccine will be invaluable in states with communities living in the interior and hard-to-access areas. It will also be convenient to administer to the refugee community who will also be vaccinated under our national program. In order for us to meet the challenge of the coming months, we have increased our vaccination capacity by opening up more PPVs of all types and by deploying more healthcare workers and other volunteers. Currently, we have 1,400 PPVs operating across the country. While many focus on the so-called mega PPVs, we have PPVs in all shapes and sizes. We have mini pop-up PPVs in Orang Asli villages. We have PPVs at places of worship, schools, universities, community halls, places of work, plantation estates, and even in restaurants. We have drive through PPVs and, of course, mobile units that we deploy to the interior and on house calls. People in rural areas have no access to the My Sejahtera app, so we simply record their details during the vaccination and upload it into the system subsequently. More than 1,500 GP clinics and 120 private hospitals will also be operating as PPVs, increasing accessibility for anyone who wants to be vaccinated. We will also be expanding our vaccination program for essential economic sectors that are operating during phase one of the recovery plan. These workers have to physically report for duty and are therefore at risk from COVID transmission. We will be focusing on the manufacturing, transport, construction and plantation sectors first with a target of vaccinating at least 300,000 workers over the next few weeks. With the prevalence of the B16172 Delta variant in our country, we will continue to draw on real-world data on vaccine effectiveness against this and possibly other emerging variants. Like many other countries, we are now studying whether a third booster dose might be necessary. We need to accept that COVID-19 is most probably endemic, possibly requiring regular vaccination, much like the flu jab in certain countries. While we race to vaccinate as many people as quickly as possible, I also want to make sure that your vaccination experience is a pleasant one. We will continue to enhance the My Sujahtra app's help desk feature to help you troubleshoot issues that you have with your appointment. 
We will also continue to improve your on-site PPV experience by continuously upgrading our volunteers' capacity to respond and deliver a world-class experience. We need all of you to make the next few crucial months a success. When you get your appointment, go and get vaccinated. Encourage your friends and family members who have not registered to do so. Share verified information about the vaccines. Volunteer at PVVs if you can. We will make details on how to help out available. And please, continue to follow the SOPs. The next few months are everything. We need to more than ever come together and win together. Let's do this.